Hey guys, Cassie here and welcome to another edition of Ask Cassie. Today's question comes from YouTube from Candy Cupcakes, Z with a Z. Question, how do you get rid of armpit fat, that bit of fat that looks like it hangs above your bra strap by your armpits and when you wear vest tops that somewhat hang over and look super horrible? This is a question about spot reduction. Now let's talk about spot reduction. I've talked to you about this before. You cannot spot reduce. When you lose fat, you lose fat from everywhere, okay? Spot toning though, we can do, meaning basically targeting a muscle group in a specific area, yes. So how do you actually get rid of armpit fat? Well, that means you just have to lose weight all over. So if you don't mind losing a little bit of fat in your face, in your abs, in your hips, your muffin tops, and your legs too, then we can get rid of your armpit fat. So let me show you a few things that you can do. Number one, let's go ahead and fix that diet. As you know, I'm a huge fan of eating clean, meaning take out those processed foods, take out those sugary, fried, refined carb type of things, eat foods that are natural, that are closest to the ground, if you know what I mean. It hasn't like gone through the factory and all that kind of stuff. So I really like white fish, chicken breast, uh, tunas, I love salads, all kind of veggies. Veggies are my friends, I love them, but then again, if I eat them, are they actually my friends? Even though you are eating great foods, there can still be a tendency to overeat because at the end of the day, it is about the calorie intake and how much you actually expended. If you are eating more than you're expending, then you're actually gonna be gaining weight. So make sure that you are eating less than you are expending and therefore you shall lose weight, therefore losing fat all over, therefore also losing fat in your armpit area. So a great way to really monitor the way you eat is to write it down. I know it sounds kind of tedious, but you can also get an app like My Net Diary or uh, what is it, like My Fitness Pal or something, and you can actually log it. It'll tell you how many calories you ate, how much fat, protein and carbs there are so you can really just keep a log and trust me you're gonna end up writing down a lot more than you think you did the first like day or two and be like whoa I actually eat that much yeah because you don't realize it even I mindlessly graze so try that try to journal your food and try to eat whole foods. That doesn't mean you have to shop at Whole Foods because you know that's super expensive. I just mean try to eat things that are close to the ground, it's clean, and uh, stay away from those crazy condiments like not too much ketchup and barbecue sauce and all that kind of stuff. Although I really do like sriracha and that's like totally okay. <laughs> it's probably not the much how much I eat it. Number two, let's go ahead and talk about the cardio. You've got to do cardio to melt the fat, okay? So that means you can also do high intensity interval training. So if you use any of my pop hit videos, that will work. Um, pop cardios work too. If you don't feel like being in your house and like jumping around, you can go for a run, you can do the elliptical, you can do the cross trainer, um, anything that really gets your heart beating. So if you are an absolute beginner and going for a brisk walk after dinner, gets your heart beating, then that is your cardio. But just know that you get stronger and fitter every time you work out. So you're gonna have to up it. You're gonna have to up yourself each time. So if you start walking, then you'll start jogging. After jogging, you go running. After running, you go sprinting. And you'll become a crazy fitness buff. How much do you do it? I would strive for doing like 30 to 45 minutes, three to four times a week. That will really be good if you are really crazy and you need to lose weight in a very short amount of time. Even try working out two times a day. Do your cardio in the morning and then work out again at night, but that is if you're really looking to get speedy results. If not, just make exercise a part of your daily lifestyle, something that you can actually stick to, because something that you can stick to will make you more successful. And lastly, I am going to talk about how you can spot tone. Okay, so there are lots of moves that target this chest area, this armpit fat area, and I will show you a few of my favorites that you can do without weights because I know a lot of you are probably working out at home. You don't have access to dumbbells and barbells and cable machines and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you a very realistic way to spot tone the area. So once you actually melt down all that fat, it's gonna be some nice armpits right there. So one of my favorite exercises for targeting the outer pec area is the chest press pulse. So what you want to do is bring both of your elbows together and make sure that your forearms are touching the whole time. You're going to clasp the hands together and all you do is lift, lift, lift. And your only task here is to keep the elbows together. Do not for a second take them apart, okay? You're just going to lift up. And uh, how many should you do? I don't know. If you can do maybe like a hundred of them, I'd be super proud of you. And 
after you let go, you know, open your arms and you're going to feel like, oh, that is so amazing. So if you have to do like five sets of 20 or something, go ahead and try 100 a day. It's totally doable. And they're like tiny pulses. So it's like not even a big deal. Another great move are push-ups, obviously. Make sure your tailbone is touched and your belly button is in. And you're going to come down and lift and just go down as low as you can. Beginners, come onto your knees. Make sure that butt is lowered. And same thing. You want to keep those eyes forward. And there's all types of push-up variations. You might want to try a staggered push-up. So I have one arm in front, one kind of to the back, and just do a push-up like that to really challenge your chest area. Another great move to target the whole region is the half cobra push-up. You're gonna slide your hands right by your armpits. Make sure those elbows are right into your shirt. You're gonna lift up and come down. Lift and lower. Make sure when you look down you can't see your fingertips because if they're here you're not really doing anything so make sure they're all the way back lifting and lowering. Alright guys so that's what I want you to do those three things number one start writing down what you eat make sure you are burning more calories than you are consuming number two I want you to do your cardio three to four times a week try for 30 or 45 minutes anything from my pop cardio videos to running to my pop hit videos and finally you can work on these toning exercises exercises so that once all that fat does flush away, we've got some nice armpits to show, if you know what I mean, and getting rid of that bra bulge fat and all that kind of good stuff. I know you've got it. So anyone who has any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. Again, the ones with the most thumbs up is going to be the next featured question for Ask Cassie. And if you're going to tweet me, please place the hashtag Ask Cassie so I can look it up really easily or else it's just going to get lost in like a whole like barrage of all this kind of stuff. I love you so much and I just want to thank you for um, being my students, you know. I'm a group fitness instructor and luckily I can teach you guys all over the world too, although I really hope one day to teach all of you live because that is my most favorite Thing to do. I love teaching. It is infectious, that energy between the students and the teacher. And like, I, I feel you guys, even though I can't see you guys, but man, if we're just all in a room together, just going cray cray, I really want to see, I want to give you a hug. Just give me a hug. Yeah, give me a hug. So that's all. I gotta go because this is just getting quad weird. Train insane. Or what? Or remain the same. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah!